Hey guys, thank you so much for visiting pixellaundry.com. I'm Rick Navarro. I am one of the senior art directors here at Pixel Laundry. And in this video, we're going to answer some of your frequently asked questions in order to help you better understand the service that we provide. Our charging structure is really unique. Every client's needs are different, so every charge is a little bit different. Every project and the way that we approach it is a little bit different. We don't have a blanket approach because we find that it's inefficient for both our clients and for us. So since every client's project is unique, every quote is unique. And what we're looking for are an, a number of factors. We're looking for frequency. We're looking for the volume of work that's going to be dropped. We're looking for the difficulty of the project. We're looking at how high of a resolution of work that is needed. Is it going to be used for online? Is it going to be used for print? We're also looking for work history with our clients. We want to establish a working relationship with you guys. So a quick charge is not always the most efficient. A high charge is not always the most efficient. So we're looking for a balance of all of these things to come together for a perfect fit that is going to be good for both you as well as for us. And we want longevity with you guys. So we're not looking for a high and fast amount if it doesn't make sense. The short answer is yes. As I mentioned before, the larger the volume, the more frequent the deliveries, the more discounts that we can offer to you. If we know we're gonna be working with you for a long amount of time, we can throw those savings back to you because we're here to establish a relationship with you guys. If we know that you're only going to be in seasonally or quarterly or monthly, we have pricing structures set out for that. But like, as I mentioned before, we're weighing and balancing all of those other parameters that we are um, cross-referencing to get the best price for both of us. There's kind of a preferred standard that we find that most clients are really seeking for in this day and age. Retouching tends to be stylistic and kind of socially driven. So whatever the you know style of the day is tends to be the most popular. Uh, what we've seen happen in the last four or five years is it needs to look like the retouching is almost not even there. So uh, nine times out of 10, we're shooting for that style of retouching and we want it to be as clean and as natural as possible. If you need something a little bit more stylistic, we can do that as well. We have done that as well. Um, but usually that requires a client to give us a very specific set of instructions on how to attain the look that they're going for. That being said, we're glad to do it, or we can um, we can default to our natural kind of retouching style. In the beginning of a project, we prefer that you provide us with maybe global edit guidelines. Let's say general guidelines that are going to guide us and our team through what may be, again, 99% of the work that you send us. That being said, if there's a one-off campaign that may be um, a derivative of your main body of work, then you can provide specific instructions or call outs or markups, and that can be done through either email, a PDF, um, a Word document, however you'd like to get us specific call outs or specific instructions to address maybe a separate uh, campaign that is different from maybe your normal body of work. Either works for us, we do both all the time. There is kind of a default that we go to when we're talking about just natural, maybe skin or clothes or anything super, super basic. Anything outside of that would require call outs or some sort of markup for me. Our preferred method for sharing files is Dropbox. We have a business Dropbox set up and we basically will set you up once you sign on with us as a client. We'll set you up with your own personal Dropbox, which will have both an inbox and an outbox so that you can drop off your deliveries as well as pick them up. We make these deliveries in the same location so that we can have an organized way of tracking both incoming and outgoing files. This seems to work really well for our clients. Dropbox is widely known and accepted as a cloud-based server platform that many people are familiar with, but we're not married to that either. If you have a preferred method, if you have an internal company Dropbox uh, or a Dropbox type of service. We use those as well. We transfer works just as well. FTP, we can do as well. Uh, Box.com, Box 
Um, there's several out there that are very similar and we work with all of them. Basically, we're using cloud-based servers to transfer files securely uh, both to and from our clients. Yes, we'd love to sample out your images. If you have something that you think is unique to, um, to the service that we provide, something that you just want to see if we can manage directly, we'd be happy to retouch a few samples for you. We like to limit that to three images if possible. If there's a great variation of categories in your images, then we would take that on a case by case basis. But typically it's about three images and we'll, we'll do a full retouch on those for you completely free. There's also an entire portfolio section on our website. So if you're looking for different samples and different categories or different styles of retouch that you're not sure or that you'd like to see if we're able to do, go ahead and check that out at pixellaundry.com. We can take any image off of any camera, out of any camera back that you can provide. There is kind of a threshold, a limit from which um, we prefer to work on, but we can take images from a phone, we can take images from a DSLR, we can take images from a medium format camera and anything else in between. Basically, we prefer to work with high-end JPEGs because of file transfer rates over the internet. However, we also work on raw images, we work on PSDs, we work on TIFFs, and we work with JPEGs. Those are kind of the four main file types that most clients or, or individuals are working with. But if you've got something else that you're considering, um, a different camera back, we don't have any camera preferences. Most of those are gonna put you out at one of those outputs anyway. So if you have a preference or if you have something that you're not sure of, go ahead and send us an inquiry at the pixellaundry.com forward slash contact page, and we'll take a look at it and get back to you. Pixel Laundry can provide you with the same service, if not better than your in-house team for a number of reasons. First and foremost, we're way more cost effective than having an in-house retouching team. For the cost of one full-time retoucher, we can get you five. In addition to just salary benefits, we're gonna provide you a benefit of not having to pay insurance costs, uh, liability, acquisition fees, benefits, and we're basically on an as needed basis. So you're only paying for what you use. If you need retouching today, you pay for it today. If you don't need it tomorrow, you don't have an employee sitting around in your office getting paid for not doing anything. So outsourcing your photo work, especially if it's seasonal or monthly or annual or biannual or quarterly, however your situation is, it makes way more sense to hire a team that one, specializes in the retouching that you're going to be doing, two, is going to be way more cost beneficial for your overhead or for your marketing budget for that year. Our team has over 50 years of sales, technology, photography, e-commerce, and retouching experience combined. We're more than experienced and more than knowledgeable when it comes to retouching or processing your files in a way that's gonna be efficient for you. We've got redundancies in place. We've got a lot of experts in place that make retouching your images a breeze. Pixel Laundry was born in Los Angeles, California, but since its birth has moved to Denver, Colorado. Our main office is on Mountain Standard Time, but we have other strategically placed offices around the world that allow our office to work on a 24 hour basis. Nine times out of 10, our clients are coming in and dropping their images off with us at night. And by morning time, they're getting their images back. That's really like less than a 12 hour turnaround, even though our typical turnarounds tend to be 24 to 72 hours. We work six days out of the week. The only day we really take off is uh, Sunday. We're making deliveries and working on files from Monday through Saturday. Our entire team is mobilely connected as well. So we're constantly in communication with each other, going over files, reviewing client notes, uh, connecting with clients and so on and so forth. We're almost a 24 hour operation, six days out of the week and we can work uh, in any time zone, basically in the world. No, we can retouch amateur photos and professional photos just the same. So if you have something unique that you want to run by us, reach out to us and let us look at your work so that we can get an idea and give you a custom quote.
Your photos are basically kept on archive with us for 30 days, and that's as a courtesy. We have a photo server that will hold a certain amount of images, and it's a large volume of images, but it doesn't make sense for us to hold on to images for our clients for extended periods amounts of time. If you want that as a service, it's something that we can provide for you at, a, at an additional charge. Uh, but typically, we hold on to the photos for 30 days. We ask that you download them locally to your machine once the project has been completed. And then afterwards, if for some reason within that 30 day window, you need them, feel free to contact us back to see if we still have them in house. As I mentioned, the 30 day window is really a courtesy. It's not a guarantee. There are times where we may need space on our servers and are going to delete images, but we usually reach out to our clients and let them know when that's going to happen. That being said, best practice is to download your images as soon as you get them delivered, have them locally on your machine so that you have a backup. We are working with several clients in and out, several different size files or size sizes of deliveries. So we can never guarantee once your project has been completed that we will hold on to your files indefinitely. No, not necessarily. And the reason I say that is because we're dealing in such a large volume of images from a large, vast array of clients. It doesn't really make sense for us to have all of those images up on our website. It doesn't benefit us in any capacity to constantly be using our clients' images. That being said, if there's a project that we're really proud of, something that came out very beautiful or something that's gonna showcase our skills in a great way for that next client who may be looking for a similar service, we may choose one or two photos to display um, or use as marketing purposes. Let me also mention this, that we're very sensitive with the confidentiality of our clients' images. So for example, if a client comes to us with a campaign or a product image for, let's say a campaign or a product that hasn't been released yet, they're coming to us early to process these images for a campaign that may be coming out in the future. We would never use those images prior to the release of that campaign or that product. And oftentimes it's much further down the line. So there would never be any sort of confidentiality breaches, or any images leaked for a product or a campaign that may be coming up that would cause or compromise the integrity of that particular product or that particular campaign. Obviously that's not in our best interest to do that because we want to continue to establish a relationship with our clients. So leaking their images to the general public is probably not a good look for us. So we definitely keep that on wraps. And oftentimes if and when we are going to use those images, if at all, it's going to be three, six months down the line. Working with us is very simple. Basically, you're going to contact us and let us know, hey, we've got a batch of X amount of images. These are the things that need to get done. Here's when I need them back. You will drop your images off with us. We'll confirm the receipt. We'll go over the notes. We'll reach out if we have any questions. And then we begin the production pipeline. We'll work on your images and return them back to you. And basically that's it, it's super simple. If you need revisions on those images, we ask that you review those usually within seven calendar days and then get back to us with any notes, usually very specific or bullet pointed notes so that we can use that as a checklist to go through and make sure that we're addressing every single one of the needs that you require. Um, and then after that, we work on those images, send them back to you. Once you sign off on them, then we're done. Our main service that we provide is retouching. However, we do have in-house photographers. So if you need a photography service for your product photography, please reach out to us and let us know and we can work something out or point you into the right direction with the person who would be able to help you with that. If you've got a large batch of 500 images or more, let's say, we really appreciate if you reach out and kind of let us know. And the reason for that is, is so that we can allocate our resources accordingly. We wanna plan our schedule around uh, maybe a large batch that may be coming in. Because of the nature of our business, uh, we find that clients may come in last minute or clients may come in at a week out. And there may be a day throughout the week or a time throughout the month that there's an accumulation of those images because oftentimes our clients don't know themselves if or when their images are gonna be ready for post-production. So if you know ahead of time that you're gonna have a large batch of images that you need processed out, yes, please reach out, give us a call, give us a heads up and say, hey, I'm gonna have X amount of images that are coming your way on, let's say this date. 
Great, we'll plan accordingly to make sure that we've got resources allocated and ready to process and prioritize your images so that they can be done at the highest level possible. Batches that are under 500 images or 100 images or 10 images or five images, small batches basically, don't need as much heads up as maybe a large batch does. In fact, most of our clients fall within that category. Um, they're just delivering on a very frequent basis. So if that's you and you've got a small amount of images that you're processing every day, for example, if you're an e-commerce or a fast fashion uh, studio and you process out 60 images every day, we don't really need a heads up on that. Um, we would actually have already established that in prior conversations so that we know, hey, we're doing 60 images every day and we're gonna drop them to you every single night. Great. We'll be expecting the images. No need for a, a heads up email or a notification. We know that there are services out there that have some pre-priced packages ready to go for you. However, at this time, we find that that is not the best thing for our clients. And the reason is, is because there are nuances in every single client's retouches um, that are not necessarily addressed. And this is on both on the front and on the back end. Every client's needs are unique, so every project is priced custom to that client's specific needs. I will say this though, once a project has been discussed and a price has been uh, agreed upon, we lock in that price until the project parameters change. And we wanna make sure that we're being as efficient and cost effective for you as well as us as we can be. We can edit everything from models to image restoration, editorial, lifestyle, high-end beauty, auto, tabletop products. We can basically retouch anything you can throw at us. We do get a lot of fashion because obviously fashion requires a lot of images on a regular basis. However, we've done everything from furniture to fashion. So if you have a category that you're not sure about or if you're not seeing it on our website, Go ahead and take advantage of those free samples that we'll do for you so that you can see and gain confidence that we can do anything that you've got. Revisions are something that's usually built into the cost of your images. We recognize that not everybody's style is the same or maybe communication wasn't clear or maybe something was missed just out of human error. We kind of take that into account. It is a part of the business, it's a part of the game. So we we consider that early on and we build that into the price of your particular package. Now, that being said, we like to be as detailed and as specific as we possibly can be upfront in order to eliminate the need for revisions on the back end. If revisions are still necessary, even after that, we're more than happy, especially if we've made a mistake on our part to go back and make those revisions for you free of charge. Now, that being said, if we've been provided with a specific detailed level of instructions and have hit all of those marks and for some reason you may still not be happy with the work, we are more than happy to work with you to try to get to a place that is workable for both of us. However, if for some reason we can't get to the same page, we're more than happy to give you all of the work as it's been provided for so that you can find somebody who may be a better fit for you. Yes, it's completely possible for you to add a change order after you've submitted your files. However, we ask that you submit that as soon as possible. If the files have gotten to a certain point within the production pipeline, additional fees may apply. Yes, we love to talk to you guys. Oftentimes, um, it's easier to communicate one-on-one -on -one and, and to address maybe specific needs that you may have that are unique to your project. Uh, one of the reasons we're making this video is to address some of these bulk issues, but we realize that there's kind of nuances to um, you as a client. So please reach out to us at pixelandry.com forward slash contact, fill out the contact form, and we will from there schedule either a one-on-one -on -one consultation, a phone call, or address maybe further issues through email if they're addressable through that way. Hope that really helps. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to do something for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video on frequently asked questions. We hope it addresses maybe some of the major questions you may have had in regards to using a service like us. If you have further questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. You can reach us at pixelandry.com forward slash contact. 
fill out that page there and someone will be back to you within 24 hours. We believe we provide a no brainer service. Guys, we're gonna save you money, we're gonna save you time, we're gonna get your images to the market and lightning speed and that's gonna benefit everyone. Guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you real soon.